Hi, this is ST Singh once again. Today I am back with a new topic. And today's topic is Google applications or Google Apps. This is based on chapter number 7 of computer science book of class 8. But all of us can learn something out of this. Google is an American public corporation specializing in internet related services and products. Google began as a research project in January 1996 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, two PhD students at Stanford University. Today, Google is mainly used as a search engine and this probably remains one of the most visible aspects of Google on the web. But Google is much more than the search engine. It has developed a number of web based applications that are collectively known as Google Apps or applications. There are many applications related to Google like Google Search, Google Accounts, Gmail Accounts, Google Docs, Google Maps, Google Duo, etc. All the applications and services from Google are called Google Apps. Gmail is the product of Google Apps which is used to send and receive emails. To gain access to all the Google services, you must set up a Gmail account. Gmail becomes your point of entry to Google Apps. You can use any Google app by using Gmail user ID and password. Google Chrome Google Chrome is a full-featured web browser software designed by Google. A web browser is a software application that people use in order to view web pages on the internet. It loads very fast and runs multiple pages. The Google apps run particularly well in this browser. Chrome is a free open source browser and can be downloaded online. Google Maps Google Maps is a web mapping service developed by Google. It enables us to display up to date maps by searching for an address or place of interest, such as an airport, a hotel, or a historical site. While going somewhere, Google Maps provides directions when a user enters a starting and destination point. It has GPS or Global Positioning System, which is used to determine the current location of a user eliminating the need for the user to enter the starting point and enabling the website to recommend nearby places of interest. It shows real-time GPS navigation, traffic, transit, and details about millions of places. And this one is perhaps the most widely used apps from Google. I have used this app uh, very often, especially while I am driving in unknown cities and towns. It acts as a GPS navigation device in the mobile and it will guide me throughout the journey even with the voice command. Google Translate Google Translate is a free online language translation service which instantly translates text into other languages. This translator supports English, Arabic, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Swedish. The Google Translate app for mobile lets you instantly visually translate printed text. Just open the app, click on the camera, and point it at the text you need to translate like a street sign, ingredient list, instruction manual, etc. You will see the text transforming life on your screen into the other language. Google Search Engine The internet is a worldwide resources of information. The primary reason why people use the internet is to search for specific information, including text, pictures, music, and video. Google is well known for its search engine, which is a major factor of the company's success. It is a fast, relevant, and the largest single catalog of web pages available today. It offers 
images, maps and news and features for locating photos, geographical directions and news headlines. Google Assistant The Google Assistant is a virtual assistant developed by Google that is primarily available on mobile and smart home devices. By using Android phone, user can quickly access the Google Assistant by pressing and holding down your home button or by simply saying OK Google. With the Google Assistant, you can make quick phone calls, send text messages, set reminders, take a selfie, set calendar events, play music, navigate places, get updates on weather information and on the latest news. Google Earth Google Earth is an interactive mapping program that covers the vast area of the Earth. Google Earth is generally considered to be remarkably accurate and extremely detailed. For example, some major cities have such remarkably detailed images that one can zoom in close enough to read the number plates on cars on a street. Let us see a small demonstration on how to use this app. So now let's zoom in the Eiffel Tower in Paris in 3D view using this Google Earth but we need a good net speed to see clearer image. So this is how I zoom in the Eiffel Tower in 3D view using this Google Earth. Of course, such features are also available in Google Maps, but there are some added advantages in the Google Earth. Gmail. Gmail is a web-based email application offered by Google. You can use Gmail to create, send, receive, forward, print and delete email messages. Initially, Gmail service was available for Google employees only. Gmail was offered to the public in 2004 as an invitation-only service. Since then, it has become one of the most popular free email services with a huge storage capacity. Gmail is available as desktop app, web app, and mobile app. You can use any Google app by using Gmail user ID and password. Google Plus Google Plus is a social networking site that enables you to connect with people who share similar personal or professional interests. On most social networking sites, the members are connected to each other as friends, friends of friends and so on. The main purpose of using social networking sites is to keep track of what is going on in the lives of friends, family and colleagues, especially the people whom you do not meet regularly. It also helps us to expand the circle of friends and business Google Allo Google Allo is an instant messaging mobile app developed by Google. Allo was launched on September 21st, 2016. It is available on Android and iPhone OS. Allo allows you to express yourself better with stickers, doodles and emojis. Allo provides a smart reply function that allows users to reply to messages with automatic suggestions instead of typing. Allo is based on phone numbers, not by social media or email accounts. Allo also lets users draw on photos before sending them. Google Duo Google Duo is a high-quality video calling app. It is simple, reliable and works on both iPhone OS and Android phones. Google Blogger Blogger is a blog publishing service by Google by which you can publish your ideas, opinions and stories online. With millions of blogs available on the internet, you can read what others have published. 
Blogger consists of a frequently updated collections of entries. Most blogs focus on a particular topic or subject area, although in a majority of blogs, the subject is the person writing the blog. The entries that appear on a blog are called posts, and the act of publishing a blog is called posting. A single person who maintains many blogs is known as a blogger. Google Calendar Google Calendar is a time management app created by Google. Using Calendar, you can effectively keep track of all your appointments, receive notifications automatically, set reminder and schedule future repeating events. User can view Google Calendar in different views like month, week and day view. Most of your events from Gmail like flight, hotel, concert, restaurant, reservations and more are added to your calendar automatically. Google Photos Google Photos is a photo sharing and storage app from Google. It is just like your new photo gallery. When you click photos or shoot videos from the phone, those photos and videos will be automatically backed up and organized. So you can find and share them faster and your phone space will never be used. Google Docs Google Docs is an online office suite in which you can create, edit, and share different types of documents. These include text, spreadsheet, and presentation. The document component of Google Docs allows you to create full featured documents by adding text and format it. The spreadsheet component of Google Docs allows you to basic manipulation of spreadsheets, adding charts, and using of formula. The presentation component of Google Docs enables you to create professional looking presentations. Google Drive Google Drive is an online storage that provides you 15 GB of free Google online storage. So you can keep files, folders, backups and everything important. Users can upgrade their free 15 GB account through a paid subscription plan to get additional storage. Google Drive is used by millions of people to store their files and those files can be accessed from any smartphone, tablet or computer. So wherever you go, you can use your files. Google Chrome OS Chrome OS or operating system introduced by Google is a Linux based operating system designed to work primarily with web apps. Apps are available through the Chrome Web Store and data is stored on Google Drive. A specialized laptop that runs Chrome OS is called a Chromebook and a specialized desktop that runs Chrome OS is called a Chromebox. YouTube YouTube is the most popular video sharing service on the web. But you will be surprised to know that YouTube was not created by Google. This service was created by three former PayPal employees, Chad Hurley, Steve Chen and Jawed Karim in February 2005. In November 2006, YouTube was bought by Google. YouTube offers tens of millions of videos as well as movie trailers, commercial clips from TV shows and much more. You use the YouTube site to start a video clip and YouTube streams the video to your computer and other mobile devices. If you have a digital movie or animation that you would like to share with the world, you can upload the file to YouTube. To upload videos, you need to create a free YouTube account or sign in with your Google account if you have one. Google Play Google Play is a store of apps or applications songs, books, movies, games and other contents for Android power phones and tablets. It is a huge place and offers a lot of contents to its users either free of charge or at a cost. Applications and games can be downloaded directly to an Android based device through the Play Store. Google Play offers an online music store and has the world's largest ebook store with over 5 million titles. 
there are thousands of movies and television shows available on google play movies and tv google android android is an operating system for mobile computing devices android is created and maintained by google it is widely used on smartphones and tablets computers various hardware manufacturers like asus dell isp istc lg motorola samsung and sony use android as the operating system for their devices it provides a wide range of features from sending email and browsing the internet to making phone calls and taking photos google has released many versions of the android operating system each version has a code name from a sweet food and in alphabetical order. For example, the code name for Android version 1.0 is Angel Cake, 1.1 is Battenberg, 1.5 is Cuff Cake, 1.6 is Donut, 2.0 to 2.1 is Eclair, 2.2 is Proyo, 2.3 is Gingerbread, 3.0 to 3.2 is Honeycomb. 4.0 is ice cream sandwich, 4.1 to 4.3 is jelly bean, 4.4 is Kit Kat, 5 is lollipop, 6 is marshmallow, 7.1 is nougat, 8.0 is oreo, and 9.0 is pie. And from version 10 onwards, it will no longer be code name from a sweet food, rather it will be name android 10 android 11 and so on and smartphones became very popular from the android version 4.4 that is kitkat google pixel google pixel is an android smartphone designed and marketed by google it includes all your favorite Google apps to bring you a fast, seamless, and easy to use experience. Similar to Nexus devices, it receives Android updates directly from Google. All Pixel smartphones include very large storage for all your photos and videos. Pixel is the first phone with the Google Assistant built in. Google Glass Google Glass is a wearable voice-controlled Android device which looks like a pair of eyeglasses. It enables the user to view information or take photos and videos that are projected to a miniature screen in the user's field of vision. Users control the device through voice commands or by touching controls on its frame. Google Home Google Home is a voice activated smart speakers developed by Google. Google Home speakers enable users to speak voice commands to interact with services through Google Assistant. Google Home can play music, news, perform home automation tasks, and answer complicated questions. That's all for today. I'll be back with a new topic. In the meantime, if you want to leave any feedback, you can do so in the comment section. Or if you have any doubts or query, you can DM or WhatsApp to my number 700